do our stamping, ladies. We might not even need those, but okay. So let me show you the first project that we are gonna make, which I just love. So we, we used, hello, Miss Hope. I'm glad you can join us. This is the new, can you see the new um, die? No, not die. The new embossing folder that is called the Tasteful Textile. I don't know, the older I get, the harder it is to remember <laughs> the names of any of these things. Once I've used them for a little while, that's helpful. Okay, yes, yeah, so the Tasteful Textile um, uh, embossing folder here, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure, Sally, I'll have to read the rest of your, um, your message. I'm not sure. It says see more. I can't see the rest of it. Hello, Miss Hope. I'm so glad you can join us. But and so you guys have you played with this ribbon too? I've been using this ribbon all the time. The Bumblebee Gingham ribbon. I absolutely love that ribbon. And then I love kind of the layering how we've got the just saying hello with the little flower. So you can see right here's the flower and then there's the just saying hello kind of layering those back there. Okay, so let's make this card. You want to I'm gonna put that right there. So I think it's a good example, too, of using other designer series paper. So clearly, this is the um, Ornate Garden designer series paper. I've been playing with that so much lately. Well, and I think it's because I, um, you know, we only have so much that we can play with. But my, my next order is coming, and I've got lots of paper to play with. So we'll be playing with lots of new stuff. But in the meantime, I played one more time with this Ornate Garden designer series paper on this project, right? And like I was saying too, so the bundle kind of features the Tasteful Touches bundle, or sweet, I guess, is really paired with that In Good Taste Designer Series paper. But you can see how you can use this stamp set and dies with other paper and it works really well also. Okay, so here we go. Let me scoot those up there a little bit. All right, so we started with a thick Whisper White card base, okay? kind of my standard go-to layout. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have a piece of, and it's so thick, it doesn't like to stay <laughs> folded down until you crease it well. This is the new Bumblebee color, right? So we've got Bumblebee that is four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then, just a scrap of Whisper White for our label. And we have the terracotta tile that is three and one quarter by four and a quarter. And then the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. Love that too, right? <laughs> yes, the bumblebee has been a lot of fun to play with. And I love this is the bumblebee kind of featured in here too, right? So this one measures three by four inches, okay? So simple card layout. Um, looks pretty similar. Actually, now I'm looking at this like, ooh, those would go really well together, wouldn't they? I hadn't even noticed that. I made this one a while ago, and then I just did this one um, this week. So that's kind of fun to see that, like, oh. How, how well everything works together too. Okay, so let's see, what are we gonna do here? Let's do our stamping and get that kind of done, right? So we just have, like I said, the scrap of Whisper White cardstock. Where's my card? I covered it up. So what I think, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I am, isn't it funny? Cause I'm trying to remember if I die cut. I think I did, we're gonna do that. It's not, um, always that I do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're going to die cut this white piece first, and then I was trying to decide if I stamped it and just got really lucky. Isn't that awful? Like, I really can't remember how I did it, ladies. Nah, we're going to try this. Changed my mind again. Okay, so we have Bumblebee ink. I'm going to grab my little scrap piece of paper, though, because I know that I do want to kind of stamp this off. So I'm going to stamp it on my scrap paper because I want it to be kind of faint behind there. I didn't want it to be super bright, okay? So it's just kind of a nice um, wash look behind it. And this stamp set is great for that. You can see probably any of these images, any of these, if you stamp off first, so you make them a little bit lighter, they're beautiful behind the sentiments too. I love doing that. It's kind of a great way of kind of adding some texture. And we'll do that right there. Okay, there we go. So that's all we need there. Now we are gonna do our die cutting. So let's grab, so we can do our die cutting. And then I'll show you, this is the one of the big 
labels in here in the tasteful touches so you can see we're actually going to use this other one on our next card but this is the one we're going to use and you can kind of see oops let me get it right in view it it does a little bit of um, embossing almost around the edges there too so like i said this is a must-have set of dies you are going to use them i know i have all the time and honestly when i first saw this um, product in the pre-order that's why i bought the bundle i was like oh yeah that stamp set's fine i don't know i'm sure i'll find something to do with it but i had to have those dies and i've fallen in love with the stamp set now too but it wasn't the thing that caught my eye at first it was these labels okay so you can see if i get super close can you see there's a little bit like kind of a little ridge of detail there if i move in just the right light right so on the outside and then also on the inside can you see that just that little ridge it just has a little bit of detail on there okay all right, so now I think we can kind of put things together. Let's see. And I have ordered my new stamp and seal, but I haven't gotten it yet. It is coming. I think everything's coming today, actually. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm still using Snail. In the meantime, we will be um, breaking out the new stuff as soon as we can. All right? Okay. So we're going to pop this one right on there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was our embossing, too. Okay, I'm thinking I'm all ready to put stuff together. Okay, let's actually do this. We need to emboss this piece with our tasteful textile embossing folder. So let's do that, right? Grab the other platform here. Okay, and this is going to be another one of those like must have uh, embossing folders just because of kind of that subtle detail that it creates on your project actually I want to try to so they give you this little line <laughs> I know you can't wait oh oh that's a bummer Sharon I'm sure Stampin' Up would still do something for you I would think if you called them about your failed snail they might still have some back stock or something it's worth a call anyway okay sorry that's wiggling all over the place all right but yeah so like I said just kind of some nice subtle can you see that? Just the, the tasteful textile. So it kind of looks like a nubby sweater or something, doesn't it? Right? Just a little bit of detail on there. Okay. Let's scoot this out of the way. All right. So now what I need to remember, because I think I did that the other day, didn't I? Was I, oh, where is my, <laughs> I know what happened. So yeah, I'm putting, um, this ribbon on um, club member treats this month and I used it all up forgetting that I needed it but I think I have another bolt so let me go grab it I will be right back I think I have it right here yes I do okay good it wasn't buried <laughs> thank goodness okay so we're going to open up a new the bumblebee um gingham so cute had so much fun playing with this okay so we are just going to tie a bow around here okay so i like to kind of turn it sideways make sure i have enough ribbon to work with and pull this one over here and i kind of like to hold it down so that it feels like it's straight across there and then we can kind of move the bow over to the edge once we've made our bow it's easier to make it and then move it i think and try to get it right where you want in the beginning okay so then just be careful i kind of curl it a little bit because you don't want if you pull really hard you're gonna rip it along there and you don't want to do that right okay all right i'm gonna snip that one off there Okay, so now we can add this piece. I'm trying to decide if that's over enough. I think it's going to need to go a little bit, a little bit more. Got to go very close to the edge there. Okay, so, and it doesn't matter that that is flipped around. You won't even know once we, you do want to use a good amount of adhesive on this piece though, so that it stays really well on here. With that texture, you always have to, I think, give a little bit more 
adhesive to keep it down on your project. I'm gonna push really firmly all the way around, all of those, there we go. Okay, now we can add, and you know what I decided, because this is so textury and this was kind of lifting up a little bit from here, Oh, where are my dimensionals? I want to I want to put dimensionals. I forgot those. One sec. Okay. Here we go. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, and I like to put one in the middle too. There we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna just peel these off. I've had more fun playing with this terracotta tile cardstock since it's coordinating now with this um, ornate garden suite. I don't think I used it that much when it first came out, which is kind of funny. I've played with it so much lately. Okay, and then we're gonna put a couple more dimensionals behind our sentiment. Actually, here we're gonna do, there's something about these big ones I have to add. Two just didn't seem like enough. So we'll put four of them on there. Peel those babies off. So cute and simple, right? But love, again, can you, you can kind of see that detail, right? So pretty, so cute, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> Thanks, Jamie, I love it too. Thank you so much. It's the paper too, right? And then the embossing folder. Just such a fun, bright, happy, just saying hello, right? And Jamie, I know you like that sentiment too because you sent me that card also that said that. So, all right, okay, so that is card number one. Let's scoot these things out of the way, right? So I, you know, my con 